Well, that takes care of that. By now, the Pride should be mopping up whatever opposition is left outside. Let's get this room secured. Sounds good to me. Let's grab this, grab this, grab this. You know what, let's take everything he's got. Dr. Lee, it's... Sarah Lyons, I'm in the control room. We're both here, what's going on? I've been monitoring the equipment remotely, and we have a serious problem. The facility has been damaged during the fighting. Some of it looks accidental, some of it may have been sabotage. There's pressure building up in the holding tanks. It needs to be released now, or else the whole facility could explode. To release the pressure, you're going to have to turn the purifier on. Do you understand me? It has to be turned on now! If I'm reading this right, I'm afraid there are lethal levels of radiation inside the chamber. I'm sorry. I wish there was some other way, but there's just no time. It has to be done now, or the damage will be catastrophic. Well, so much for celebrating. One of us is going to have to go in there and turn the damn thing on. And whoever does it isn't coming back out. Not exactly how I imagine going out, you know? So, what should we do? Draw straws? Nope, I'll do it. I'll start the purifier. You're going to have to be quick about it. If the radiation is bad enough, you won't have much time. I won't forget what you've done here. No one will. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to do a save here. Alright. Uh, where do I need to go here? First of all... Rad away, rad X. Now, where is this thing I have to turn off? Is this it? If you're still there, the purifier needs to be activated now. You don't have much time left. You know what? I don't remember. I don't even know what the key code is. Uh, I mean, what is, I don't even know what the code is for this thing. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, yes I do, what is... Revelation 216. Is that it? That must be it. And so it was that the lone wanderer ventured forth from Vault 101, intent on discovering the fate of a father who had once sacrificed the future of humanity for that of his only child. The Capital Wasteland proved a cruel, inhospitable place, but the lone wanderer refused to surrender to the vices that had claimed so many others. The values passed on from father to child. Selflessness, compassion, honor guided this noble soul through countless trials and triumphs.
But it was not until the end of this long road that the lone wanderer learned the true meaning of that greatest of virtues, sacrifice. Stepping into the irradiated control chamber of Project Purity, the child followed the example of the father, sacrificing life itself for the greater good of mankind. Thankfully, when selected by the sinister president to be his instrument of annihilation, the wanderer refused. Humanity, with all its flaws, was deemed worthy of preservation. The waters of life flowed at last, free and pure for any and all. The capital wasteland, at long last, was saved. So ends the story of the Lone Wanderer, who stepped through the great door of Vault 101 and into the annals of legend. But the tale of humanity will never come to a close, for the struggle of survival is a war without end. And war, war never changes. Careful now, careful. Don't move too quickly. Everything's fine, you're safe. You're in the Citadel. I was starting to think you might never wake up, despite assurances to the contrary. I've been coming down here every day to see both you and my daughter. It's good that at least one of you has recovered. Yes, yes. She's fine. Or she will be. I appreciate your concern for her, but really don't worry. You've been through enough. Please, relax. Everything is fine. You were brought back to the Citadel after some sort of energy spike in the purifier. You and Sarah were both... Knocked unconscious. Quite a bit has happened since then. What about the purifier? Did it work? Indeed it did. The tidal basin is full of fresh, clean water now. We've been working to see that it's distributed to as many people as possible across the wasteland. In fact, I'm hopeful that soon we won't be referring to the wasteland any longer. None of this would have been possible without the efforts of both you and your father. I doubt we shall ever be able to truly repay you. Did we win? Did we beat the Enclave? Yes, we most certainly did. After securing the Purifier, our forces were sent to deal with the Enclave in full. The Pride and Liberty Prime made short work of their base of operations, and have since been cleaning up pockets of resistance. How long was I out? Just about two weeks. Don't worry, we've been taking good care of you. So what happens now, Elder Lions? Well, that's really up to you, isn't it? The Brotherhood has a clear plan of action. The remnants of the Enclave must be swept away. The Pride has been working to this end ever since we took the Purifier back. The only remaining question is whether we can count on you to help us. Is there any way I can help? Indeed. We can use every able body available to us. To that end, I'm going to circumvent our standard recruitment procedures and declare you a Knight of the Brotherhood of Steel. Before you do anything else, please speak with Scribe Rothschild. 
I'm sure he'll be pleased to see you again. He can brief you on the details of the last few weeks, as well as where our efforts are focused now. I understand that you've been through quite an ordeal, but the sooner you can talk to him, the sooner we can put an end to all this. Sweet. Uh... What else can you tell me about the fight against the Enclave? As you know, I had my reservations about engaging the Enclave. They did not directly attack us, and I believed we had time. Time to be cautious. Their assault on the Purifier forced our hand. We had no choice but to engage them directly. And once that engagement was begun, we could do nothing but see it through to the end. If they had not considered us a threat before, they do now. So, we have spent the time since you and I last spoke, systematically locating and destroying every bastion of Enclave Force we can. Liberty Prime has proven far more successful than any of us could have hoped for. Uh, let's talk about the super mutant problem. Oh? Have you learned something? The super mutants are coming from Vault 87. It's their breeding ground. Vault 87? Where you found the Gek? We've never been able to penetrate the radiation surrounding that area. This information is invaluable. Well done. What's going on with the Purifier now? The Brotherhood has taken over control of the Purifier and is managing distribution of the water to the people of the Wasteland. If you travel there, speak with Scribe Bigsley. He's heading up the on-site operation. Well, I think that's about all we need to talk about for now, sir. Please be careful. I would hate to lose you again. <laughs> 